Got another question from a Magnus site who seems to be troubled. And this is what he says. He says, Dear Tyrone, I would like to apologize for the length of this letter. Letter, however, I feel as it is necessary to explain my current predicament. To begin last year, I started a food fight. <laughs> that shit really happens. It's not just on TV, afternoon specials and all that shit. <laughs> I started a food fight in my cafeteria and was arrested. Oh, oh, for creating a riot. Oh my God, seriously? That must have been some hell of a food fight. I was released with a few weeks probation and community service. However, I was still in trouble at home. My mom locked me in my room for a few months, for the entire summer vacation. What? While I could only come out for meals, during this time, the only thing I had to read were some old books my grandfather left in my room when he visited. I read books such as uh, Descartes as a Moral Thinker, How to Laugh at Nothing, The Opening of Vision. I, don't, I haven't heard of any of these books, but they sound interesting. I should note that I was 14 at the time, and I'm now 15. While reading these books, I was exposed to many different idols. I went from being a Christian to believing that God doesn't exist. and such thoughts, I began to question my morals as well. I went back to school after three months of summer vacation and was a completely different thought process. My friends noticed that I was acting different and thought I was going through depression. They reported me to my guidance counselor. <laughs> Jeez. I found no reason to lie, so I told her all about what happened and my new ideals. I was wondering, I was like, that wasn't spelled right. Uh, she then found that I was a danger to myself and the people around me. After, wh what the fuck is going on, man? Um, after calling my parents, I was sent to a program where I was placed in an environment where mentally different children with men mentally different children my age. There I was forced to take part in therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy. Uh, I can't pronounce that one. Uh, group counseling, family therapy, recreational therapy, academic programs, and basic living skills. I've been attending it for a while now, and I would like to say that I hate it. Please understand I am not a schizophrenic or a spoiled brat with daddy problem. I don't belong there. So finally, we make it to my main problem. Your main problem? I would like to ask whether I should stay there and see if they can cure me. Or if I should pretend to be happy, go lucky, and get out as soon as possible. Any advice would be fine. Thank you for reading. P.S. The reason why I ask is because I don't feel as you can cure what I have since it's just a philosophy. I would just, it would just be a waste of time to be there. This is like the first question I think where I've been kind of overwhelmed with what's going on because they're I'll try to answer as best as my to my ability. This is almost like me doing a reaction video where I don't react, where it doesn't, you know, do anything for me. But this is like, this is a question that I don't feel I have an answer for, but I'm gonna try my best. So, looking at what you told me, you, you were exposed to these new ideals and because you now have these new ideas also in your mind these new thought process processes these different ways to look at the world so to speak you see things differently now and because of that you may be in a state of limbo so while other people see you as depressed you're probably always thinking. And I've gone through this myself with certain things where it's like, you know, I will read something, I'll read a book, I will find out something new about 
the human mind or the human body or humanity itself or whatever it is, how the world runs. And I will almost become a hermit, a recluse, you know, um, just, you know, you go within and you're always thinking about stuff, hashing stuff out, trying to figure out what to make of things. And I think that they that may be what you're going through. Now, you're 15, man, so I don't, I'm not really, that's just what I get from what you've written me. And you hate what you're going through. And I don't know, see, because I do know that a lot of treatments are hogwash over here. And certain things aren't. Some things really work. Some things really don't. But damn, he went through a lot, man. He started the food fight. If this is real, man, if you're not trolling me, this is crazy how it went from that to that. And I'm almost feeling like the, 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 your mom locking you in your room for that long did something to you. But then it was an opportunity to learn. And while you were learning, your mind expanded to the point where now you're hashing things out, trying to figure things out. Um, if it were me, as far as trying to get out of the classes, maybe I might do a little fakey fake and act like, hey, I'm cured, you know, just to get away. But then again, they may recognize that. You may want to talk to your parents. You know what? Yeah, take a step back with that as far as faking people out. If your parents are the type that you can approach, talk to them. Talk to them. If it's just one, talk to them. Let spill your guts like you just did for me. And let your mom, mothers and sons are usually really close. So let her know exactly your whole thought process, process from the time you started the food fight to, the, to now. Let her know what is going on in your mind. Maybe she'll remove you from those classes herself. She realizes how much pain and anguish you're going through. And then maybe after reading the letter, like me, she understands what you're going through. Maybe that'll help, man. Okay? Um, I, thought, I hope, I hope I've, I've given you enough fuel, enough stuff to help you out, man. Write me back and let me know what happens. All right? If anyone else needs to write me, make sure you hit the about button, send the message button. No business inquiry emails will be answered if you send in those type of questions. Only serious business inquiries are answered on that. So you have to hit the send a message button for me to answer your question. If that's not there, make sure you go to my Facebook fan page. You can send me messages from there. All right? One million subscribers. Woo!